Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Today, I am insanely excited. Myself and the boys have spawned in to Six Flags Magic Mountain. One of the best theme parks in the world. Come on boys, we're here. Yeah. We're in LA. And we got we a prime. <laughs> Energy, mate. Look at this. Yeah. How are we doing, boys, today in sunny California? Spawned into the LA server, <laughs> and we are here. It doesn't look like we're dressed for sunny, but it's because it's a little bit chilly at the moment. It's a little but bit cold. It'll warm up, it'll warm up. But yeah, today is one of the most anticipated days of my life. Six Sides Magic Mountain. It's the dream park, oh, really. Park. It's, it's, the park, like, it's the roller coaster tycoon park, isn't it? Like, it is. Tycoon 2. We've all grown up watching videos of rides in this park. We're going to head in. We're here for pretty much rope drop. And yeah, we've got a lot of rides to tick off, so we're going to be running around. I've got a question for you, Dees. Do you want to be here today? <laughs> I actually do. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Be <laughs> we're, we're, I actually do want to be here. Look at you, you've got uh, your prime. Wait, <laughs> Dees, what type of rides here? There's a dark ride. There's a dark ride. <laughs> there's a dark there's ride. A dark <laughs> Right, let's head in. Actually, As I said, we've got a lot of amazing rides to get on today. X2, Full Throttle. There's two RMC rides in this park. So yeah, it's going to be a busy day. Let's head in to Six Flags Magic Mountain. Come on! Let's go. What'd you say, Dees? This was AI created <laughs> artwork over there. Like, How tall um, is that loop the loop up there then? <laughs> it's taller massive. than the lift wheel. <laughs> and Come also, on. can we have a little uh, food review? What's in the back? Well, we're running light today, <laughs> so we've only got the one brunch one bar, brunch bar. which is imported from the UK. Yeah. A hundred dollars, and we are so there's no polos, but Mentos we're today. Still strapped. All right, we'll make that last. And no going. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. So we've just got off our first ride of the day, full throttle. Live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, what a fantastic first ride to get on. We wanted a big one because that was Kieran's 250th roller coaster that was good as well. It, I'm glad we did that one. Yeah, so that is the world's tallest roller coaster loop right there. And essentially, the station's literally there, so you launch straight up into it, do a little bit of a layout, and then basically. The end of the ride is you going over that straight into some brakes. But yeah, I was looking at Eddie's face because at one point you actually launched backwards in that ride and he did not know it was coming. As I said, the rest of us had like studied this coaster. We watched like the construction updates. We knew what was coming, but Eddie was not expecting that little backwards launch. Look at the size of this loop though. Honestly, the hang time you get on that because we were actually at the back of the train. Like we were literally just upside down for a good amount of time. Oh. We up and so down for hours. <laughs> it was well long. Yeah, fantastic ride to start on. Definitely a good start to the day. I think that's the best ride we've done today. So <laughs> I think I'd yeah. agree, mate. Yeah. As you said, live life gear. Yeah. Backwards launch up the inversion. Honestly, I've never seen this man so shocked. Uh, big fear, big fear. <laughs> didn't know what was going on. The actual launch, she did us filthy. Oh, the ride odds <laughs> here are going to be a menace she did today. Like a, we had no idea it was launched. She goes, three, two, one and then didn't go. It gave me flashbacks to when you said about that thing. Yeah. Box Bonnie World. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah. So when me and the boys come to theme parks, we like to get on every single roller coaster at the park. So we've just been on some of the kiddie rides, but it's good to tick them off for the cred count. And we're now looking at quite possibly the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. We all forgot this was a thing, to be honest. Let me turn the camera around and then I'll pan up and I'll keep panning up. Look at the size of this ride. Now, unfortunately, the roller coaster part of this ride is closed. But this drop tower is called Lex Looper and it's the second tallest in the world. Oh my good God. <laughs> And we're going on that today. <laughs> so just to put this into perspective, if you've been to Fort Park, stealth is half the size of this structure. So we're talking tw two stealth stacked on top of each other, four saw the rides. Where the red light is, where that red light is, it's 200 foot. 
Yeah, 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 it is actually. Oh, that's tiny as well. Oh. That little red light there is stealth at Fort Park. And then... <laughs> and You're like excited, boys. Well. Oh. I'm thinking it might be a return of the Chunder. <laughs> These don't even bother me, but I think this is going to bother me. I'm genuinely, absolutely terrified for this ride. We're not going on it yet. They I can't hack it. You never know. Oh, what a shame yeah. that'll be. Might get locked we're going to carry on getting on some of the coasters, but at some point today, we're going to have to do it. So Twisted Colossus ticked, another RMC done and dusted. I have to say, I really enjoyed that. I didn't know much about that ride going into it, like layout wise, but it was decent. Essentially, you do um, half of the ride, like a normal coastal layout, it's really long. And then you go up a lift hill right next to the lift hill you just did. And you basically do a very similar layout again. I did prefer the second half though, just because there's like a stall, like you spend a bit more time upside down. But no, another RMC ticked off. Now the next RMC we have to do at this park is just over here. It's probably actually stuck on the lift hill. But that right there, folks, is an RMC single rail. Very rare. I think there's only three of them, right? Very uh, few of these rides in the Wonder world. Woman, the other one. Oh, there's no. Railblazer. Oh, there's okay. the Interman one, if that can. No, no, just but, RMC. But then there's just three then in that this case. This is a very rare cred. Very rare. It's lo oh, literally, look at it. So essentially, with normal roller coasters, you of course have two rails, don't you? And the wheels go on either side. And you obviously sit in the middle of the train. Even for eyes like inverts, once again, it's two rails. Literally, every roller coaster in the world has a two rail system. This ride, however, as you can see, the track is literally just a single thing. Hence the name, an RMC single rail. So yeah, it's a new model from RMC and I've heard a lot of things about it. So that is very much a bucket list coaster. It just looks like a Hot Wheels set. Literally. Like, like a ride. And you, you sit in single file, so it's like one behind each other. But yeah, very excited for that. We're not actually going on it first. We're heading on to Batman, um, which I think is just a bulk standard like invert. They have it at all of the Six Five parks. But yeah, uh, it's our first Batman. It is. So yeah, let's head on to Batman. Come on. So we've just come off of Batman, the BM Invert Coaster. To be honest, it was nothing special. Still better than Nemesis. Started off literally the exact same as Nemesis Inferno. Go into a vertical loop, then a zero G roll, but then you go into another loop. And from that point, it's obviously completely different. But yeah, the time has now come. For Wonder Woman, the RMC single rail. A coaster I've been waiting to ride for a very long time. Probably the second most anticipated ride at this park for me, just behind X2. Oh. Yeah, nice queue line. I wasn't expecting this kind of theming. Theming? Yeah. Right. So unfortunately, Wonder Woman broke down, but we stuck it out for ages and we managed to get on it twice. What are the boys saying? Did you enjoy? It's an enjoyable ride. It is, but... I think it's a lovely ride, but basically, on the first one we had pick of the train, so he went at the front and we all went at the back. <laughs> so we, we did the back row, which was pretty good. I did rate it quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, intense, good ride, but then we did it again quickly afterwards and he went to go at the back. But You're spited. Well. So we got then right. a front ride, I think the front one was sick. So I these really is only that. sat at the front. I definitely preferred it at the front than the back. It wasn't 
as good as I was hoping it would be, but it was still a really good ride. But I was hoping it, it was a little bit better. Like it's not slid into my top five, maybe top ten, just. Top ten. But oh mate, no, I don't even know. I don't. I've done two months. It's not like it. Yeah, we've I nearly like had our first chunder of right, the day. So I like the, the trip. So I like the first ride. But I said, boys, let's go out for a second. Oh, oh no, bad decision. Mm. Been in the cooker too long, and yeah, it was a bit of um. There was a few <laughs> during the uh, ride, but I'm feeling good now. He's about oh, to dear. eat. He's about I'm to about eat. to eat, and we'll go on that afterwards. No, X2 oh. straight after eating. We're talking X2 about it. straight after well, eating. I'm in the cooking. We need another throw up for Eddie. His first one in California. First one in America. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is officially five RMCs for all of us boys ticked off, which is a decent number. Basically, um, you could say we're experts now. I've become so much of a theme park enthusiast <laughs> over the years recently. <laughs> Gained him on virginity. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, very happy to have that RMC model specifically ticked off because as I said, that is a rare one. But yeah, it's time for some food now and then we'll be going straight onto X2. <laughs> Bosh. <laughs> He's not having any of my scrap. This is to stop me from shuddering. <laughs> He's gonna peck you. I'm moving. Oh. Oh. There's no way. Right, what's he doing then? Why is he looking at the scrap like that? You stay away, you bastard. Heading down my seat. Bam. There's no way. I'm, I'm over here, mate. Oh my god, no, 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 it's actually coming over. Oh. Oh. Well, no way, you can't have the cookie either. Holy Where can we go? <laughs> it's hissing! It's gonna come to us, isn't it? Bam, it's actually so close to Diva's oh, one. Oh. Oh, please do one, please do one. Come on, dude, get a chip out. Oh mate. <laughs> Look how close it's time to get off. <laughs> He's been evicted for <laughs> <laughs> So the time has come to ride one of my most anticipated coasters in the entire world. Really? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Not for you? It's just swarming up. No, 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 no. So this is a ride called X2. It's made by a company called Aerodynamics. And what happened, Eddie? Aerodynamics, <laughs> well, X2 came about. And let's just say, only one came out, and that was X2. <laughs> <laughs> this ride was so advanced that it literally put the roller coaster manufacturer pretty much out of business. Like, that's the scale of like ambitiousness that this ride was when it was built. Is the clone of it built before or after? The clones are built after, so they're not even aerodynamics, they're SNS. Oh, so this is the only one. Yeah, this is the only actual Oh my one. god, so there's literally three of this type of ride in the world, really. Yeah. Essentially, what the ride is, is it looks off ride like the swarm at Fort Park, like a wing coaster. But each of those individual seats on the side of a track all spin on their own axis. And I believe it's a controlled spin. So it's not even just like free spinning. They've designed this ride with that in mind so that it spins at the perfect point for the best like forces. Is it sponsored by Twix? Is it actually sponsored by? Yeah, oh my God. Right. That's You're talking goofy. about the funny, uh, the way you board the ride as well. No, I actually. Do... Today is the first thrill of the rest of your life, boys. <laughs> oh my. How are we getting on this thing then? So you bought it and Speakers. I believe the restraints are a bit, a bit bulky, a bit bulky. But um, we're actually going to go up the lift hill backwards. It's yeah, pretty oh, good yeah, backwards yeah, yeah. the entire time. Mate, the maintenance bay looks like a protocol. <laughs> look at that! Oh my god, look at the size of this thing. So I, I genuinely think this has the potential, I don't want to gas it up too much, to be a top five. Eddie even thinks it could be a new number one for him, but all of us could very much have this in our top five list after riding this. I've been wanting to ride this coaster for many, many years, and now the time has finally come. So here we go. Look, there we go, Eddie. <laughs> They're literally on their backs. That's the reverse of a flying coaster. <laughs> We're literally on the top of the hill here at Magic Mountain, so the views we'll get from this are going to be insane. You have the rest of Look at that. So yeah, the time has come to ride X2. 
Oh my god. So we have literally just walked out of the station of X2. Oh my good god. I don't think words can describe that feeling. Me. Like genuinely. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is, it genuinely it is, is a It actually is. is nah. There's two moments I remember specifically. It's the first drop, twist, literally backflip and the track is now above me. <laughs> so I'm what's going on there. And also, I think it's this like hill part here. He's riding literally yeah. legs Mate. first. So I, the whole I said to Dee, yeah. going up this first lift hill, because obviously you're like on your back going up. I said, we're not going to go backwards, are we? Like legs over. And we pretty much did. Yep. Like you fully back just do a somersault on that drop. <laughs> like, this is what I mean. You can't describe the forces that you experience. You don't on know this. what it's going to look like. It's like a few hundred foot. It's like, massive. Like, your whole way down that drop, you're facing like. Yeah. You're facing downward and then and suddenly you just do a water. somersault but it's like, like it's so full. when you hit the bottom that's so full. such a unique I mean, ride the forces you get are just so insane and i don't know about you boys but my legs fully came out of the restraint yeah, yeah. i was yeah. on one yeah, side yeah. Yeah. So you, you've got like a thing between your legs my legs were just both on one side of it i know on a lot of rides people are like oh i thought i was gonna fall out i've never thought i'm gonna fall out on a roller coaster as much as this like i genuinely was just being held in by this uh, restraint which isn't a normal restraint that goes over your head it's like a weight machine you pull it from either side wow I don't think I can call it a number one coaster just because there's like no theming or anything, but no, it's definitely... I've said, top three if it was an actual package. Yeah. yeah top three. Easy. But in terms of actual roller coaster experiences, you're going to struggle to find many other rides in the world that compete with that. I'm gassed it's got Rivaro. <laughs> Hello, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Why are all your rides closed? <laughs> so my review for the dark ride right there would be that it was really, really cool um, through the queue line and once we got on, up to about halfway through the ride when it did just turn into a very screen heavy based ride. Like every scene was just looking at a screen. Um, but up until that point, there was some great theming. It was weird seeing theming in this park. I'm not feeling too good right now though, because the time has come for Lex Luthor drop of doom, the 400 foot drop tower, just under twice the size of Stealth. I genuinely feel sick. Like when Eddie talks about feeling sick after a ride, I feel sick before drop towers. And this is the second tallest in the world. Genuinely don't want to do this. Jack. I'm not feeling good mate. Let's get the cooker on. <laughs> but all the times I rinse Eddie for being sick, this is his one chance to get me back. This one's for the drop tower enthusiast. <laughs> oh my god, there's just something about drop towers that terrifies me. The feeling in your stomach when you drop. How tall are we going? Four, yeah, 400 foot, feet. man. That's a strata level. Oh. I generally just might drop before this drop. <laughs> oh, man, it's so big. Let's have a look. Holy. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. This is the first time any of us in this group have been over 400 foot on any kind of ride. Oh my God, we're literally going straight on. Oh. Thank you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. We did it. We've just come off of Lex Looper drop of doom. Look at the size of that thing, mate. We survived it. It is tall. <laughs> Genuinely, as I said, that's the first time any of us have been over 400 foot on any kind of ride. <laughs> We've done it! That is crazy. You know what? As terrified as I was going up there, 
I would do it again. Yeah. It wasn't I too bad. Should, I'm shaking Honestly. still, but I, like, I, I couldn't say a single word when we were at the top. Like you are, you, it feels high, doesn't it? It's a high. It, it, well, it literally yeah. is the highest I've been, but it actually felt high. Because you are yeah. towering over, not like the rides themselves. You're towering over, but then just seeing people like the size of ants, insane. And but also, then, like the restraint is oh, not resistant. The restraint is not tight at all. Just literally that bar. But once we dropped, Kieran went, this is fine. And I was like, you know what, it actually is. And we're here when my legs excited. really need to yeah, yeah. At the top, he was literally deep, like, <laughs> like a ventilator. And then Jack, because the restraints are so like, not great, he had his arm, <laughs> he had an empty seat, he had his arm around the seat next to him as a restraint, and then like, tied his arm around like a knot. <laughs> Just in case my restraint <laughs> fails. It's a full train now. Because it's so high, you feel, like the air pushes your legs up, like your legs just go into the air. We had a chat like, half yeah. of the drop, wasn't it? The drop is very bearable. Detonator still works. Like, it's not as intense no, as, say, detonator at four bars, which is mad up. considering this is four times the height. I think it was peak but we've done it. Absolutely terrifying ride. But we've done it. Just look at them come down. Look, there we go. And obviously, the, this is where the brakes kick in, so all of this is just pure free fall. But that's just a great lesson that even if you are terrified, just try and force yourself to do it. Once you're stuck in that seat, nothing Ooh. bad's gonna happen. And you, you might end up enjoying it, you might end up hating it, but in my case, I would go on that again. And hopefully that just uh, helps with my fear of drop towers. Because knowing that I've done one of the tallest in the world is a good feeling. Wow. Unfortunately, the second part of this like ride this roller coaster isn't actually open today, which is a big shame because this Arch Nemesis is like favorite flat, favorite ride. <laughs> flat ride, we call it. But it's one of his favorite rides in the world, so I'm gutted it's not open for us today. You basically launch down a long tunnel and you get shot up and then you obviously go backwards, but yeah, won't be getting it today. So all day, Patsu has been advertised as closed. Even before we come, we didn't think it was going to be open. Because um, on the website it said that like, it's been closed every day. But there are currently people in the station, which means we're getting on it. Eddie, are you riding? 50-50. No, you've got to, mate. Mate, this is going to ride. No, 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 no. Okay, before anyone says anything in the comments <laughs> down below, I'll write out this. This has the tallest prep to loop in the world. We're That's a reason to go on it. That's a reason uh, I'm a chunder. I back Eddie on this. The one on Sea uh, oh, Man that we did recently bad enough. broke me. <laughs> so, this is a flying coaster, but it's absolutely enormous. And yeah, as Eddie said, it's got the biggest pretzel loop on a flying coaster in the world. Which makes your lungs feel they're going to deplete. Oh, you honestly just black out like you see nothing because it's that intense. But you've well, got to go on it, Eddie. It's the biggest one. You've got to. It can't get worse than this. On the website, even said it wasn't going We fully it. thought we just yeah. weren't getting this cred. This is another bucket list coaster for me, so I'm do, do, so do, do, excited do, 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 do. that we can go on it. Come on! But I remember watching videos of this as a kid. Very, very happy right now. Come on! The views are going to be insane. Yeah, I love a good flying coaster. Obviously, the only one we've got in the UK, well, good one, is Galactica. But this is the creme de la creme of BM flying coasters. Come on! <laughs> all right, all I'm saying is, there was a scream on that ride. It is the rarest scream I've ever done. <laughs> I've been told I sounded like a girl. Boys, we've, we've unlocked a rare Eddie scream. Yeah. I've actually never heard this before. It genuinely, it was the highest pitch. Like, <laughs> as we went like, down further, we went high, <laughs> pitch, high pitch, pitch, lower pitch, high pitch. It was good though. That was a well, big <laughs> pressure. <laughs> no, it wasn't good. It was awful. I'll never do it again. But, no, it, Oh, the views, I felt like an FPV drone. Honestly, the views you get on that are insane. And it's now got a big old queue. So I think we hit it at just the right time. I Honestly think... though, they are some of the scariest rides in my opinion. Because on most rides, even if like your restraint fails, God forbid that ever happens, you, you can still like, hold on. If anything goes wrong on a flying coaster, 
It's game over. <laughs> it's game Literally over. Literally laying down. That's what terrifies me about these rides. But no, I'm so glad we managed to get on that. I very much enjoyed it. Incredible views. I like a good flying coaster. So having that one ticked off is a, a big W. So it's time for Live Life Gear again. We're heading on to Full Throttle as our last ride of the day. Shadow of man, I want to watch help. <laughs> so after a nice visit to the gift shop, that brings us to the end of our day at the Magic Mountain. You all had a good one, boys. We've, we've had a six flags day, and everyone <laughs> says that's all. They say it with negative connotations, but I actually had a great day. We've got on a lot of rides today. My personal favourite, it's actually hard to pick. X2. X2. Oh, I think Full Throttle for me. Full Throttle, Twisted Colossus, Wonder Woman was good. So many good ones. Oh, just to um, see Valve Metropolis. <laughs> the inverted thing. Yeah, Van. Ninja. No. Yeah. That was sick. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we've had a brilliant day and today is literally day one of our LA mega trip. So there's going to be plenty more vlogs <laughs> coming up from the likes of Disney, Universal, Super Mario World. It's oh, going to be a great huge. trip. And, yeah. and Playboy Kai and <laughs> the Santa Monica Pier Cred. Yes! yes come on. Plenty more videos to come to the channel, so be sure to subscribe and lock in. But yeah, from myself and the boys, thank you all very much for watching. Good. My name's Archie from my own Yeah, my team front row when we jump on a train. Got the merch on repping SLK. Island flex when I step through the gate. Country fresh with a style on flames. Yeah. Drift out now I'm vibing. Link with the boys, jump straight to the island. Silkstone flex and a wave like tidal. Style so crazy, I hit it in asylum. Every day riding, thrill seeker, that's the way that I like it. Style so sick, yeah, we jump to the bridge, take pics with the gang, then we watch the horizon.